Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, Fabulous Superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. This month, the big moment for you is certainly the full moon that takes place on the 5th in your sign. Normally you get one full moon per sign per year and this is your moment and it is always a moment of truth about yourself, about your priorities, what matters to you most, what matters to you first and whom it is that you are. The thing is sometimes those realizations come about in ways that feel easy, inspiring, right? We've got enough of that, well a little of that, we certainly got empowering here, but to be very straightforward with you, there's also energy here that says these realizations are likely to come about in ways that don't feel comfortable. Now, I'm sorry to say, but it does happen. In fact, some of these realizations could feel downright surprising, if not shocking. Some of these realizations may have you scattering very quickly. Things are likely to change in your understanding of who you are and in particular where it is that your actions have disconnected from some way in which you've identified who you know yourself to be. Well, this can be one of those moments when you receive insight or feedback or life showing you that you're not living in integrity with this truth about you. Now, all of this is not necessarily to have you feel bad about yourself, no. This is a moment that ultimately should be welcomed, even if it's hard and even for that percentage of Leos that might find it uncomfortable. And that may not necessarily represent an external event. It could be within yourself that you're feeling restless. That's one possibility here. But regardless of what transpires that feels like your moment of truth, your moment of honesty, regardless of the level of discomfort or consequence, this is amazing. This is really good because the truth always is the pathway to freedom. But sometimes, yes, that truth comes about in a way that doesn't necessarily feel comfortable. That can be hard, I know. But ultimately, this energy should absolutely be welcomed. It should be embraced. There's wonderful energy here that says you are getting in touch with the truth of who you are and a determination to live it that much more. And so what are some celestial connections here that are so important? Well, look, first and foremost, before I even talk about the planetary connections with greater depth, let me say it's a full moon. And full moons always bring a rise of emotion. There's always a lot of emotion stirring underneath that comes right to the surface. It is that much closer to you when it's a full moon in your sign, certainly. And so the full moon is making a harmonious connection with... Mars. So that's the empowerment of this time. It could be a friend or a group uh, connection that you are aligned with that becomes part of reminding you of your power. We've also got somewhat of a connection, a supremely harmonious connection with Jupiter as well. And I say somewhat because it's not as precise as some of these other alignments. And yet you absolutely can tap into this to feel that much more hopeful to feel a world of possibility is available to you. But the factor that is that wild card surprise shocking factor is the fact that we are going to have Uranus speaking with this full moon in a conversation of tension. That can be challenging, that can be hard, um, but that's the wake up call. And sometimes that truth, that wake up call is just what you need. Even if it doesn't feel comfortable in the moment, remember, it's taking you somewhere good 
and somewhere needed. The truth of what you really want and who you really are and making sure that you align with it fully, well, that is the great gift of this time. As we navigate further, it will be on the 20th of the month that we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon also has a very strong signature of truth to it as well. It is in a part of the sky for you that has to do with profound truth, profound change. It has to do with regeneration, uh, renewal as well. So that regeneration and renewal can happen on levels that are psychological, spiritual, physical as well where it is that you're ready to begin a journey of feeling as if you're making changes that allow you to be more authentically you, whether that's a change in your perspective or other types of changes as well. This is where you're embracing that journey that much more. And this part of the sky also has to do with your understanding of wealth, your understanding of the resources available to you, including financial resources as well. Now, Again, in a very literal way, this part of the sky can speak to things like grants, loans, bursaries, scholarships, uh, benefits you qualify for. Um, and so, yes, these types of ways in which you access the resources that you might need and emotional resources as well, how much you feel that other people are there and genuinely care for you is part of this part of the sky as well. Well, that may come into focus for some Leos as well. But here's the thing, with this particular new moon, it isn't really making any big celestial connections in the sky with big major planets. Um, we do have somewhat of a conjunction with Saturn, and I say somewhat because it's not a true conjunction because the new moon and Saturn are in different signs, but they're close enough into the sky um, to feel like they are together in a sense. It is also this new moon that is connecting in harmony with the nodes as well. So that's a, an indication that you are aware of some soul prompt that might be coming forward within you now. However, ultimately with these energies, it can feel that much more like you are having to look very deep within. You're getting to some core truths about you again. But this time, instead of it being this dramatic moment that feels so close to you, that feels like it stirs you so deeply, instead, this energy says that you are feeling as if you have an action plan. You're feeling inspired. You're feeling encouraged that there are things you can do to move in a direction of feeling like you're becoming more authentically you. Now, as part of this, understanding wealth absolutely might be a part of this. If it is that you end up attracting uh, resources like funding, for example, well, with energy like this, chances are that it isn't going to feel like you've got to go out there and make it happen. There'll be a certain simplicity with which it's able to come together if that is part of how this energy is realized. If you've been engaged in a journey of transformation of any kind, this is where you might feel like the work that you've been doing, well, it's allowing you to feel a sense of newness and new beginnings now in a way that can feel rather comforting and encouraging. I do love these energies in many ways because it speaks to you getting to some truth about you in all kinds of ways, but it doesn't stay an energy that's personal, but rather you're able to implement your understandings to improve your life in real ways and in all kinds of ways, given how this sky is lit up now. Now, where it comes to matters of love, two important trends I do want to mention here. So this energy of truth all around with the full moon and the new moon, it absolutely can correlate to your feelings for another person. But remember, it's about you and what that says about you. There could be a heightened sense of vulnerability at this time, for example. But with that vulnerability comes a, a true sense of you understanding perhaps why you're in this moment, what you're really hoping for, and whether or not those hopes can be met. 
And so the full moon is energy that you will feel that much more. The truth about you, well, it may be what's happening with another person that ends up being the vehicle that reveals that truth about you that much more. But once we get to the new moon on the 20th, there is this sense of you understanding what needs to change and you're able to be honest about it. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, what a remarkable time this can be. I will say that the full moon, chances are it'll bring about some situation that helps you to understand what you really are wanting on a level of your heart. What does your heart desire and where does partnership and love fit into that or not? If you've had your eye on somebody, I feel like your realizations, not only into who this person is, but why it is and what it is that it says about you that you've wanted to have an alignment or alliance with this person in some way. Well, all of that could stir very strongly as this truth comes to the surface for you, especially around the full moon. But once we get to the new moon, it looks like you understand some things about yourself and you feel that much more open and available to engage others in a meaningful way. For those of you just starting to date somebody, uh, I think that full moon is going to be so important. The full moon on the 6th is going to show you the truth of not only what's going on in this situation, but you, the truth of your hopes, the truth of your desires, the truth of what your heart wants and whether or not it can be met in this situation. In many ways, the people that we end up aligning with, they mirror us in some way. They reveal some truth about what it is we believe about ourselves, about love, about partnership, about the love available to us. And this can be one of those moments as you see the truth that it could end up being very all or nothing. You may see things in this person that make you realize, okay, you understand why you made the choice and you don't want to make that choice anymore. But for others, this could be a moment where you realize that you really do want to navigate forward with this person. And for those of you in an established bond, well, look, emotions will likely be running very high around the full moon for you in particular. Um, the overwhelming majority of Leos out there are going to find that events now lead you to a deeper layer and level of honesty with your partner, closeness with your partner, as your feelings of very strong emotion within, your connection with your partner helps you to understand what it is that you're feeling, which can be lovely. But for the very small percentage of Leos out there, if you have felt for a while that maybe you're not in the right relationship for you, this is where that truth feels so evident. It can feel as if you just don't want to continue in a facade anymore. And at the very least, you'll be ready to admit it to yourself. By the time we get to the new moon, you are implementing meaningful change in your life. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a valuable and meaningful astrological moment. I love how the energy now is one of truth and understanding within. The truth about whom it is that you are is right there on the surface. It may come forward in ways that surprise you, maybe even shock you, but really should be welcome because it is these truths now that are going to encourage you to actually be whom it is that you are more authentically and with integrity going forward from here. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.